Hello everyone. Today I'm going to re be replacing my dual motor um, emblem on the back of the car. It's silver. I've got everything in black and I'm exchanging it for the dual motor with the black bar underneath. Uh, this is actual foam, but it's an actual plastic um, emblem underneath with the black bar. Um, this is not a promotion or anything. I bought it from these people ev vish ev ish be unique off of ebay not ebay sorry um i looked on ebay they had a few on there they're a lot cheaper this is actually 30 pound you know i feel like i've been a bit ripped off there but um you know that's my choice in the box came the emblem came in that thing there a little card there which is nothing uh some spray there that gets rid of the sticky stuff when you peel it off uh, a alcohol cleaner and some fishing twine to remove the um the actual emblem on the car i've got my daughter's which is oh and you get also get a cloth you know that's um 30 quid <laughs> uh, borrowing my daughter's hair dryer to heat the uh, emblem up on the car because it makes it a lot easier and um easier to come off. I'm going to turn the car around in a minute. So this will all be cleaned up and I'll get this off. And it's what you do, you heat that up, put your um, twine, fishing wire, or even um, the tooth stuff, you know, what you clean your teeth with, you put that behind there and just pull it and it all should come off. They're actual single badges. So they'll come off individually. Um, yeah. Step one, clean the area around, the emblem, dual motor, dual motor. And then you need to stick some tape around it so you know where to place it. I've stuck the tape along the bottom so it's got a nice straight line and one down the edge. Um, the R is slightly off, so I don't know. It does actually look like if you get eye level, it's going up, so that's Tesla for you. Bod's job. <laughs> um, yeah, so you just do that, and now I'm going to heat these up, and uh, they should come off with the uh, fishing wire. twine or wire whatever you want to call it put it behind there and just pull it and they come off dead easy There we go, they're off. You're just left with the glue now. Now to get the glue off, you've got a special stuff in there that you, but you want to get the main foam backed off, backing off, which is uh, basically just use your nail. It's going to take some time, I think. Now, as you can see, finally got it off. A lot of effort to get, that's a little scratch there, paint scratch. Um, finally got it off. It takes a lot of effort. And then what you need to get, you get a, in this pack I've got a, an alcohol wipe with basically no alcohol on it. It's as dry as a bone, so that's no good probably been in storage for about five years. Give it a good clean. Yeah, 
I think that's got it all clean now. Right, so I've got it all nice and clean. Everything's all good there. It's a, it's a straight line there. Fairly bit of nick there, but I'll get it straight on that one. All you do is take your new emblem. It will sit just above like that. Yeah, that's pretty, that's on there, okay. And stick it on is what you do. You peel the back off. <laughs> and uh, stick. He's gone quiet. I'm not thinking too good on that one. Right, that was a bit of faffing around there. You have to get that lined up, but because this is foam, it moves. You know what I mean? So you can you can bend it up and down. So I've had to stop the video and uh, realign it. That was slightly up there anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Then just give it a good push. Take this top off. Yeah, that's dead straight there. Then what you do is just peel this off. Hoping everything stays in place, which it has. Give them a good push. These are plastic, they're not foam. So once they're on, Hopefully they will stay on. And take your um, tape off. Yeah, that's dead level. That's basically it guys. Dual motor, that's the finishing touch. Everything's, there's no chrome on it whatsoever now. There we go. Let's have a look. Okay, so there's the final product on there. It's all nice and straight. I was a bit worried about that, but I got it straighter than what I thought I would. Um, so it's all done. I don't know if you can see the bottom splitter there. Um, sorry, what's it called? Diffuser with the side wings there as well. Um, yeah, it's all on. It's all nice and straight. Pleased with it. But I will say you do need a bit of patience because um, it's in foam. So when you line, line the bottom up with a bit of tape you put on, the foam moves. It's, you know, foam squeezes and it's like a sponge. So it is quite difficult. So um, be careful there. Make sure you get all the glue off. Because that can be a bit of a pain. But overall, 15 minutes and I've done it, so... And I'm happy with that. That's not coming off any anytime soon. Um, yeah, 30 quid, way too much money I spent. Why I spent that, paid that, I don't know. I could have probably got it off for six, for six quid um, off of eBay or something, but I paid 30 pound. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. More videos to follow. See you soon.